Welcome to this tutorial on creating a discussion topic in D2L Brightspace. So the first thing we'll do is go under our communication button here and we can select the third option titled discussions and then once inside of our discussion area you'll see that we have a, a discussion forum here created titled class discussions. Now you have to have a discussion forum before you can start adding topics. So a discussion forum is basically like a folder that's going to house all of your discussion topics. And so what I can do is just at the name of the forum here, I can click on the little action button and choose add topic here, or I can go under the blue new button here and choose to add my topic from this area. So both will work. The advantage of doing it under this or next to this class discussions forum is that if I select add topic here, it'll automatically add it to this discussion forum. So if I select add topic here, you can see that that association is made right here that it's put into the class discussions forum. And in the title here, I'll put week one discussions. So maybe I'm going to, you know, have my forum of, of class discussions and every week I'll have a new topic and I'll just title them, you know, week one, week two, week three. You can also put in a description in here. You don't have to, but you could put something like please use this space to discuss items covered in week one. And then under the options area here, you can allow anonymous posts. So what this means is that any post made by a student within this discussion topic, it's going to have anonymous instead of their name. And it's anonymous to everybody, including the instructor. The second option, a moderator must approve individual posts before they display in the topic. What that means is that any post that the student makes will have to get approval from the instructor before the other students can see or view the contents of that discussion posting. And the last one here, users must start a thread before they can read and reply to other threads. So what that means is that students have to post their own views and opinions on the discussion uh, topic before they can see what the other students have written. So this is extremely valuable if, for example, you're grading your discussions. Because if I'm the last student to post and I can see what all the other students have posted, it, it might influence how I, I answer the question or respond to the discussion area. So this makes it so that every student is on the same level where they're all having to post their own opinions before they're swayed by what the other students are, are, are saying. You can also rate the posts. So you can have no rating. You could have it so that your students use a five-star rating scheme. Uh, you can do an up-down vote rating scheme. Or you can just have a up-vote only rating scheme. So if I use the up-vote only rating scheme, the more the highest voted items, I guess, will appear at the top. And then under the availability, so there's a visibility area so this discussion topic is always visible and that's the default it means that the students you know are always able to see it you can hide it if you don't want your students to be able to view this discussion topic right away or you can have it visible for a specific date range so because this is a week one discussion maybe I only want the students to be able to see it during week one so if I did only want them to see it during week one I can select that box and put in the start and the end dates right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it always visible. And then here under the locking options area here, I can have my forum unlocked, which means the students can go on and they can post and reply to items within the discussion topic. I can lock the topic, so that means that the students can't post in this discussion topic, or I can have it unlocked for a specific date range. Now, this will be would be valuable if you want your students only to talk about the week one items during week one. So I can put a start and end date, for example, for that week and have it end on the maybe the Sunday at midnight and then the students will not be able to post anymore. So one thing you might want to do is you might want to have it, you know, unlocked for a specific range so that you can have it end, you know, a week the next Sunday. So for example, I could pick the next Sunday at uh, we'll say 11.59, 11.59 p.m. is 
when it's going to be unlocked. So from now until uh, a week from now. And I'm going to leave it always visible. So even after it's locked, the students will still be able to go on and review and, and, and see the discussion postings because I want to leave it visible for them. All right, and then at the bottom of the screen, there's some options here. You can save and close. You can save and add a new topic. You can just save it or you can cancel. And I'm just going to save it. And then back at the top of the screen here, I can also go under this restrictions tab. And if I wanted to, I can create and attach some release conditions, such as you have to, you know, post in, a, in another discussion forum in order to see this, or you have to get a particular grade on a grade item, or you have to submit to a Dropbox or view an item in content. Those are just some examples of some release conditions that uh, people may want to create. And you can also affiliate group restrictions. So if I checked off the box here, I could uh, restrict this discussion topic to a particular group or certain groups. And so if I, you know, added group one and two to this area, only the students that are in group one and two can view and post within this discussion uh, topic. But I'm going to leave it open for everyone, so I'm not going to select that. And then you can also go under the assessment area here, and you can uh, associate it here with uh, item within the the grades area and you can also give it a score out of however many points you would like you can uh, associate a rubric if you wanted to and then you can allow the assessment of just individual posts all right and then you can also with this objectives tab here affiliate uh, or associate learning objectives with this discussion and then I'm just going to press the save and close button and you can see that we've created this week one discussion topic and that it's going to be locked. So the students see this, they know that it's going to be locked after this date and time. And then here's the description that I allowed. So please use the space to discuss items covered in week one. So when the students log into the discussions area and when they click on the discussion here, they can go on and see it and just start a new thread. So this concludes the tutorial on creating a discussion topic in D2L Brightspace.